In this video, I'm going to take a look at Amazon Polly, the new AI voice generator from Amazon, how it works, how they price it, because it's really, really confusing at first glance. And overall, you can get your two cents on if it's good, better, bad, or fantastic. So jumping in Amazon Polly, you're going to head over to aws.amazon.com slash Polly and sign in with your Amazon account. And I want to talk about the pricing because this is the first confusing part. Now I'm gonna take you first over to the logged in version and then come back to the pricing because it isn't really clear. If we look at the pricing, their pricing is in one big paragraph. And this to me was really confusing. So let me show this to you broken down and I'm gonna come back to the pricing because Amazon definitely will charge you if you go over the free amount. So in this text to speech, we're actually inside Amazon Polly. I'll show you this again in a second. But there's four kinds of audio models. There's the standard, produces natural sounding speech. The neuro produces more natural and human-like speech than the standard engine. And then there's the long form, which I don't have the bucket set up for that. That's only Virginia. So I'd have to change this to Northern Virginia, which then would flip this to all of them. So I was using the West design. I'll keep that there for now. And then there's generative produces the most expressive and adaptive speech. Let's put it this way, cheap, more expensive, more expensive, and the most expensive. Let me break this down before we have standard, neuro, long form, and generative, which is all in this one big dang paragraph. So it talks about the pricing. We have standard, which is right here. We have neuro, we have long form, and we have generative. So they basically give it to you is this way. And this is again, how it breaks down the best I can do with pricing. Cause I want to be very transparent. Amazon will charge you and they will hit you as fast as possible. This could be good. This could be bad. I want to make sure you are aware of it. So the free tier includes five main characters per month for the first 12 months for regular speech. So they're using characters, not words, not paragraph characters. There's a character, a period, a comma, a quote, that's all characters and that number is just going to count up and up and up. Now for the first level, it's going to be 5 million characters for the next level for neuro voices, you get 1 million characters. So you can see that if you go through these levels, the standard is the cheapest. That's the freest, the freest tier, the free tier with the highest amount of characters. And then you have neuro going on, which is 1 million. And now we're down, of course, if we go a little deeper, the for long form voices, the free tier includes 500,000 characters. Who thought of putting prices in a paragraph is like the world's worst UI. That's just what I'm saying right now. So of course, long form, you get 500,000 characters. And for the most, as it says, what is this thing? The most expressive for generative, you get 100,000. So for generative voices, you get 100,000 characters per month for the first 12 months. So again, it breaks down. It says, well, basically, if we were to use the 2016 Amazon shareholders, 1.3 characters, we have 6.5, 165,000, a Christmas Carol, Charles Dickens in the, Jesus is just so bad. Standard would cost you 66 cents. Neuro would cost you 264. Long form 1650 and generative 495. Now it's just again, a funky system because again, we didn't hit the numbers, but we did. It's just, again, the pricing is just wacky, but let's go ahead and actually take a look and see how it sounds to see, is it worth it? Is it any good? That's kind of my two cents and you can be the judge by listening in this video. So in text-to-speech, what I have is I did use another AI because this is the one useful part. I did ask a chat bot to just write a 1,000 character paragraph. Oh, didn't even get to 1,000. Oh, thank you. Uh, I wanted to make sure we're below 1,000. I was testing this yesterday on both generative and standard, so I don't know how many characters I have because again, it doesn't tell you remaining numbers and that's just annoying. Again, also, if you do not have all access to all four, there are buckets at the very top. So if you're like, I, mine started in, uh, I think it was in New York or somewhere like that, it was really weird. 
But if I had like, that was the east, because I'm on the east, but it went to east two. So for example, if my bucket was Ohio, I couldn't get the other four to the other three to show up. But don't ask me why Amazon's always done these buckets and it's always driven me crazy. So I'm going to go to the top and head back to Northern Virginia, which is the U.S. East bucket. And in here, all four work. So let's drop this in. Let's input the text. I'm not going to put any of settings. I'm then going to listen to this and see how it sounds. The Golden Gate Bridge, an iconic symbol of San Francisco and one of the most photographed bridges in the world, spans 1.7 miles across the Golden Gate Strait, connecting the city to Marin County. Completed in 1937 after four years of construction, it was an engineering marvel of its time and held the title of the world's longest suspension bridge until 1964. Designed by Joseph Strauss, with help from architect Irving Morrow and engineer Charles Alton Ellis, the bridge is instantly recognizable for its international orange color and art deco details. We'll just stop at that point in time. Let's just kind of cut it down. Still a lot of listening in this video. I didn't get the words quite right. It is Marin, not Marin. And it does still sound quite like AI. Again, I'm not thinking it's going to be perfect, but is it going to get close? So we've got standard here so far. Uh, Neuro will be the next one. So we'll take a listen and see how it sounds going forward. Let's take a listen to Nero. The Golden Gate Bridge, an iconic symbol of San Francisco and one of the most photographed bridges in the world, spans 1.7 miles across the Golden Gate Strait, connecting the city to Marin County. Completed in 1937 after four years of construction, it was an engineering marvel of its time and held the title of the world's longest suspension bridge in 1964. Designed by Joseph Strauss, with help from architect Irving Morrow and engineer Charles Alton Ellis, the bridge is instantly recognizable for its international orange color and art deco details. Not bad, but again, it does still sound like AI. We're not going to do the long form because honestly, that one's, well, actually, we'll just do it. What the heck? Uh, we're now changing because not every voice sounds the same. We had Joanna before, now we're at Ruth. Let's take a listen and see how it sounds. The Golden Gate Bridge, an iconic symbol of San Francisco and one of the most photographed bridges in the world, spans 1.7 miles across the Golden Gate Strait, connecting the city to Marin County. Completed in 1937, after four years of construction, it was an engineering marvel of its time and held the title of the world's longest suspension bridge until 1964. Designed by Joseph Strauss with help from architect Irving Morrow and engineer Charles Alton Ellis, the bridge is instantly recognizable for its international orange color and art deco details. Not bad, but again, it still sounds like AI. Now, of course, we have our pricing model. So we have the cheap, more expensive, more expensive, and more expensive for the generative AI. Let's sound, see how this one sounds at the top tier of Amazon's Poly. The Golden Gate Bridge, an iconic symbol of San Francisco and one of the most photographed bridges in the world, spans 1.7 miles across the Golden Gate Strait, connecting the city to Marin County. Completed in 1937 after four years of construction, it was an engineering marvel of its time and held the title of the world's longest suspension bridge until 1964. Designed by Joseph Strauss, with help from architect Irving Morrow and engineer Charles Alton Ellis, the bridge is instantly recognizable for its international orange color and art deco details. Again, not bad, but again, it didn't get Marin County correctly. I was again hoping for a few words to get better. Generative AI, not so bad. Just for fun, we'll run two generative AIs. Let's throw Ruth female and then we'll do Matthew male. Just so you can hear finale of the generative, see if it sounds any better. But to me, it still sounds like AI. Not that it shouldn't because it is AI. The Golden Gate Bridge, an iconic symbol of San Francisco and one of the most photographed bridges in the world, spans 1.7 miles across the Golden Gate Strait, connecting the city to Marin County. Completed in 1937 after four years of construction, it was an engineering marvel of its time and held the title of the world's longest suspension bridge until 1964. Designed by Joseph Strauss, with help from architect Irving Morrow and engineer Charles Alton Ellis, the bridge is instantly recognizable for its international orange color and art deco details. 
overall not bad, but my two cents with overall text to speech is it is going to sound computer generated. There is still that human nature that is not flawless, but not flawed, but human. And that's talking and listening and recording these videos, for example, talks about how the voice is still the voice. You want a human voice and our human ears can detect human voices. Are these good? Yeah, they're better than most. And again, if you need to have a text to speech, it's not bad. My final wrap up is again, just watch pricing. AWS can really sneak up on you if you're not careful. Again, I don't know if you have a thousand requests, a thousand characters, one million characters, but if you drop a bunch of text in here and you have only a thousand requests at a thousand, or you have 100 requests at a thousand, now you're going to be all the way up to 30 bucks at the generative price for that highest tier. So be to be aware of what it is. It's not bad. Take a look for free at aws.amazon.com slash poly.